Hello and welcome. I'm the Autistic Modeler, and on today's video, we're going to be building the 1940 Ford Coca-Cola delivery truck. This is pretty neat. Uh, that box art alone is pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, we can build it red. Looks like it comes with a display thing. And let's look at the other side. On the side, we got white walls, hubcaps, different kind of wheels, custom engine, some pipes, side pipes maybe there. No, those are the bumpers. I apologize. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, in the box, looks like we got molded in yellow here. Here's the van body. Pretty neat. Doors open there in the back. Sorry, put together there for shipping. There's the interior. Right there. And fenders are separate. Frame is separate. So we got molded in exhaust. Molded in gas tank. Frame and main body is one piece. And those bumper brackets there. Looks pretty good. What else we got in here? Here's our windows. We only got one type of window, just clear only. But it looks pretty good. And there's our white wall tires. Uh, they are a Firestone brand. Pad printed white walls. Pretty nice. Got four of those. Got one white one tire option. Only one of those. And there's our chrome. Let's take that out. Look at that. That's great. Those custom hubcaps there and the stock trim rings and hubcaps. That looks good. Really nice. There's our engine. Looks like we got one engine option for the flathead. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. There's our right there. There's our flathead. Looks like it's pretty neat. All right, let's go to the next one. There's the hood, an engine stand. That's pretty neat. You can build that custom engine and put it on that. A couple custom pieces. There's a wheels. There's our back door, a roll bar. It's like a tow bar. Is that a tow bar? Yeah. That's pretty neat stuff. And here's some wheel rings. And in the bottom of the box, there's that display. That's pretty cool. Little display. That's pretty neat. And let's take these out of the wrapper. All these Coke decals. That's pretty cool. All right, and then we got our book. Our book right there. All right, that's what we get in the box. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start working and figure out colors. Stick with us. Okay, we're back. Uh, we went and decided our paint colors. I'll show you them. Uh, we're, I'm gonna do it like the box yellow and black fenders and red wheels. So here's what we decided. I'm using Rust-Oleum two times paint. This is sun yellow by Rust-Oleum. Here's the paint code number right here. I've used this before, it turns out really well. And for our black fenders, we're using Tamaya paint and it's TS-14. Right here, this has got a really nice shiny finish on the black. So we're going to go with those colors, and we're going to do it like the box, and uh, let's go get started.
Okay, I'm fitting the body here with the hood on it. And Lucas C. just did a video on hood fitting on these. So I followed some of his steps, got the hood to open all the way, and still stay on. But a problem I ran into with this body, it didn't fit side to side very well. So I had to kind of curve it. As you can see, kind of curve it this way. And then I trimmed up the hinges right here and the hinge area on the body right here and here. The upper half and then on the firewall a little bit, both sides. Both sides right here. So I got it to fit and close and look pretty decent. So got to kind of work it a bit, but it'll make it pretty nice looking model when you're through. All right, let's head over and uh, clean our body and then head over to paint. Well, I got the body out of paint. 
And while I was doing some test fitting, I noticed that the interior tub right here hits the fenders there, this piece here. In the instructions, it shows to remove this. I didn't notice. This is the first time I built this version of the 40 Ford. And I didn't realize that this hits here. See? So as you're building this, little tip, make sure you go over the instructions pretty well and remove that ahead of time.
Okay, we're back. We got some decals on and some detail work done there. Our trim, our rear decal. This has come along pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to do some more detailing on this and then we'll start on our engine. Stay with us. I noticed something on mine that I kind of made a mistake, but then it's almost a happy mistake. Our grill area here on the box shows it to be yellow. See, in this area. Uh, I didn't really care for that. So I went ahead and I trimmed it out silver. I know on the real cars, that area there is body color, but it just looked nicer to me. And that's the thing about modeling. You go ahead and do it the way you want to do it. You don't have to be exact. This is not an exact science. You do for you. Stick with us. Okay, looking over the internet, trying to find different colors for this engine, it looks to me the late 30s, early 40s flathead Fords are like a green color. So this is what I came up with. It's called Detroit Diesel Green, Alpine Green. It's a DuPont product. Uh, I bought this at the local O'Reilly's over by our house, and it dries pretty quick, and I think it's going to be a pretty accurate color. Head on over to the paint booth with me.
it's that time again. Getting ready for final assembly. Let's take a look at what we got here. We got our interior bucket. A little detail I did on that. Trim work and some wood paneling and steering wheel and shifter. That turned out pretty well. And our engine here, our flathead V8. Turned out pretty nice. There's our main body. Did a little firewall detail on it and some trim work. Turned out really nice. Our hood with the trim work on it. That turned out really well. Glass. Underneath. I'm going to weather this a little bit when we get it all put together. Our white walls, hubcaps, trim rings, our grill. All right. Let's get to it. Okay, we're back. Here's our 1940 Ford sedan delivery. This turned out really well. I really like this model. And the best thing about it, I think, is it has these great coat decals that come with the kit. This backdrop comes with it as well. It's folded up in the box, so that's an addition that you could display your model on. Uh, this turned out really well. Let's take a look at what we got. I'll open a hood here. We'll take that off. There's our flathead V8. Turned out really well. There's our underneath. I weathered it just slightly. This is a great kit, and I highly recommend you get one. This has been the Autistic Modeler. Happy Modeling.